in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use, cause you can't stop it from shining through. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This is your boy Tommy. And this is your girl Brina. Well, today project we're gonna do a, a makeover, a nightstand or bedside table, however you call it, makeover. So we're going to change the color and we're gonna also change the knobs. So Abby's gonna send it off for me and um, then I'm gonna paint it, okay? So I'm gonna take the draw out, I'm gonna take the knobs off so we could get it sent down. I'm gonna take the knobs off. Just gotta we don't have to take all the color off we just gonna take the sheen the shine area off so it could be raggedy so the other paint could stick to it so I'll see you when it's all when it's all um, finished sanding off okay so guys everything is sand off already and you have to use a wet piece of cloth to wipe the dust off so it's um, it's clean dust free so now I'm going to put the, the primer on. This is the primer that I'm using. And it's also gray. So I'm going to put that primer on first. Um, you could use whatever amount of coating um, you want to use. But I'm going to use two coatings, okay? And remember to put the coating on real light light put a little bit on depends on how many coating you want to give you put a little bit at a time in one direction because whenever time the paint dries it um, you will see the brush mark and um, you always got to do one direction especially for the last coating because the last coating is a very important part okay so I'm gonna finish up um, finish up uh, the first coating and then I'll be right back so the first coating is on this is how it looks it's not completely covered. You still can see like the brown area. And remember um, what I was telling you about the brush streaks, because they dry in whichever direction that you brush it in, okay? 
So I'm gonna put the second coating, the second primer coating on. color that I'm going in with and remember when you get any paint to must stir it so all everything can be left out okay So guys, the metallic paint is dry. I put two coats on. So now I am going to paint in here so I can have the design pop more. So I have um, this color mix at Home Depot. I'm not sure which two color they put together, but I told them I wanted like a gray, hash gray color. So they mixed this color for me and this is what I'm gonna use in between the grooves so I can get the design popping more so I'm gonna show you how I do that it's gonna be a little messy so don't worry about it because we're gonna wipe away the excess amount we just want the a little bit of that gray color in the groove so we can have the design pop out more so don't worry about it to say you're gonna mess it up this is like a water-based paint or water paint. You could just wipe it away with a wet piece of cloth. 
So make sure when you put the paint in, you don't let it dry fully, because then it's gonna be harder to clean up. Just make, make it um, dry a little bit, but not completely dry. So I'm gonna use a wet piece of cloth just to wipe away the excess on top. And if you wipe away, you could always had had um you could always had more. with the hash gray I had it to the design and you see how it make it pops more so next um, I am at the last process where I am going to have this clear gloss it's a sealer so that's the next step that I'm gonna have um, over the furniture so after the the primer then the metallic paint and then the sealer okay of the clear gloss sealer is on and I'm going to leave it overnight for it to dry. This is the finished look of our nightstand makeover. I left it overnight for it to be dry. So this is where I put the gray paint in so you could um, so I could get the design pop. You see how you could see the the design clearly and I also change the knobs from this one to the diamond so yeah this is it Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell for the next upcoming video. Bye, peace.